OK, I thought I'd run through with a quick um, debugging example. OK, so I'll show you how to debug an interesting problem that a student emailed me today. OK, so there's some code there. Uh, they got their... I've, I've stripped nearly everything out because I didn't want to give anyone any answers to anything. <laughs> OK, so uh, everything that says just standard sort of code. OK, so they've got an action perform method and it just calls the validate method. And the validate method um, sets text on a label and then um, adds that label's contents to the existing data in a text area and sets, sets text, the text area to that new, new content. So it's getting the contents of the text area, adding a slash in and getting the contents of a label. Okay, so that's something that someone might want to do. And it's coming up with an interesting error. And um, I just thought I'd do a video of tracking it down because it is important that students can track these things down for themselves. Nothing more frustrating than an error you can't track down. I'm more than happy to do it for people, especially when you get a really tricky one. But it's just, I just thought I'd show people how to do it as well. Okay, so um, let's run the code and see what happens. So this is the user interface here. And when I click the Add button, uh, we're getting this error window here up here. Okay, so uh, the bits we're interested in out of this error window are these two lines of code, or these two lines of error message that specifically refer to our program. So we're looking for something that's got our class name, in this case, Exercise Diary. So Exercise Diary, Validate and Add, uh, line 49, an exercise diary action performed, line 76. Now if we look at our code, we'll see that line 76 is just a call to our validate and add method. So that's not causing a problem. It's got to be something in our validate and add method. So let's look, look at the other line number, and it's line 49. So let's have a look at line 49. And here it is here. Okay, so we set text in the, the label to hello, and uh, getting the text to the text area, adding slash n onto it, and then adding the adding the labels contents that we've just set up above, which would be hello. Okay, so nothing there looks like it could cause an error. Okay, so so far we've followed the, if you have a look at the week seven lecture slides, so far we've looked at the, we've covered the um, uh, the week, uh, the, the first type of debugging technique there, the console window error analysis. We've looked at the lines of code that refer to our program. So we've done that. So what can we do next? Okay. Um, something in that validate and add message uh, add, uh, methods causing the error, um, one thing we might want to do is maybe put some system out print line statements in there. So we'll look at uh, uh, we'll look at adding debug output to our program. So that can be uh, displaying swing dialogues or system out print line statements or labels or text areas. We'll just do some system out print line statements. Okay, so we'll put a print line statement there. Okay, and I'll put the method name at the start there, just so we know where we are, because we might have other other, other statements in our program that are outputting as well. So that's a, that's a step 1.1. There's a step 1.2. And something could be crashing when we're exiting the method. So we'll put one there just in case. So hopefully we'll see some, some of these messages on the screen. And just to make sure we're calling a validate and add method, we'll put a comment down here as well. Here we'll put action performed. Start. Just put whatever you want in your comments. You don't have to, don't have to do them in a certain format. And I'll put an end there. So, so we've got system out print line statements now. Action performed, start and end. So we can make sure action performs running okay. And then when validate and add starts, validate and add starts, we've got messages being produced one, two, and three. We could put start, end, and middle if we wanted, or whatever you like, whatever. It doesn't really matter. As long as you can identify uh, that point in your code from the message, that's the key part. Let's compile. We've got an error there. What have I done? Missed off a semicolon. Ah, yeah, missed off a semicolon. Let's compile. Cool. Let's run our code now and see what happens. So again, we'll click the Add button. We're getting the error message again. Now let's look and see what's before the error message. So there's the action perform start. Okay. So that message there is appearing. And then our validate and add method's running, so that's that's a good sign. Then we're getting validate and add 1.1 and validate and add 1.2. Okay, so the 1.1's working, the 1.2's working, but we're not seeing the 1.3. The 1.3's not appearing there and it's not appearing here. So our program's crashing on this line of code. Something's happening in here that we don't, we don't, uh, Java doesn't like. Okay, 
It doesn't like it's not that it doesn't like it enough to give a compilation error, it's a runtime error that's happening. So what can we do? Well the next thing I would do is I would check my declarations for all the items that are being used here. Make sure they've been initialized, make sure they're being set up properly, make sure they're being declared properly. Okay, let's check the label. So we'll do a search on label. Okay, so I'm doing a search there. There's the label being declared, label processing output equals new label, um, AWT stars being import, so that looks good to me. And uh, is it used anywhere else? It's used there, it's added to the user interface, that's good. And it's used there to set text the hello. And that's it, it's not used any further. Okay, so the label looks okay. Let's check the text area now. So there's a declaration, text area pressing text area equals new text area null, which is okay, that's just empty text area. 10 rows, 60 columns, uh, with scroll bars in both directions. That looks fine to me. We're doing the import. Yeah, we've got the import there. It's Java awt.star. That brings in text area as well. Let's check where else text area is used. It's added to the user interface. That's all right. And then we've got this strange line of code here. Hmm. Okay, so what that line of code there is doing is the text area is an object and that processing of text area is an object reference, which means it really contains a, me a, memory, a location in memory where that particular text area that we've created exists. And we're overriding that, we're saying that the location is now null, or the null memory address. Okay, and then, so that the text area now doesn't point to the original text area that we created with 10 rows and 60 columns, it's now pointing to the null memory, memory address. And then we're trying to store data here with this set text and get text. We're trying to get text and set text to the null memory address, which is very bad. That's illegal in Java and illegal in any, any language. <laughs> okay, so that's what's causing our crash. So it's that actually, actually that line of code there that was causing a problem. So if we take that out and uh, recompile and rerun, so we've just commented out that equals null line of code and run again. Here's our application. We'll click the add and there's a the message appearing here. So we're getting the hello at this time. If we look at our console window, we're getting the start 1.1, 1.2, 1.3 and end. Okay, so sometimes you might have to apply multiple techniques in those uh, week seven examples that I, I give here. Uh, you might have to apply multiple techniques to track down the error, but don't be afraid to apply them. It's really good practice to be able to track down your own errors. That was an advanced error. I, I, I wouldn't really expect uh, a, a student in this course to be able to track that one down. Um, um, but certainly simpler ones you should be able to track down at this stage anyway. Okay, just apply the techniques, see how you go. If you get stuck, just email me. I'm here, to, here on email or email the course coordinator for that term. Okay, I hope that helped anyway. Um, see how you go. Uh, I hope this video helped. Thank you.